I've got an update for you on the work that we're doing in relation to the coronavirus and the impact it's having on our supply chains. First of all, thank you for getting in touch. We've had loads and loads of really good intelligence from you, from the community out there, um, talking to us about the issues that they are experiencing. We've been putting that together in a, a bigger picture of, of what's going on, but then also dr drilling into specific issues that have been arising. As I've said before, our coronavirus webpage is a great place to go for a regular updates. That's being updated all of the time. It's a good collation of all of the support that's available for the industry. At Seafish, we found ourselves in that place, that interface where we often find ourselves. Uh, between the industry and the government, we can perform a useful function for both. We can make sure the industry's voice is heard and the issues it's facing are understood by government, and then we can help our government colleagues to ensure that the policies and support they're putting in place are hitting the right spot. The next step for us, beyond this initial intelligence gathering phase, is to drill into some of those key issues and see where Seafish can provide some support. That support is going to come from right across our organisation and in the next few days uh, in this space just look out for some updates from my colleagues from across Seafish. First up we're going to have Angus Garrett, our Head of Horizon Scanning and Longer Term Issues. He's going to be talking about how we've taken that data into the organisation and, and helped formulate uh, with government some new policies and support. It's going to give you some concrete examples of the sort of activities that are available to you and the support that's there. After him we'll have Fiona Wright, Head of Regulatory Affairs. Uh, Fiona and her regulation team are providing uh, much needed guidance and support from a regulatory and legal standpoint when it comes to um, adopting a direct sales model to the general public, whether that's through quayside sales, fish boxes or direct from the vessels. There are things you need to think about from a re regulatory labelling um, point of view. So look out for that from Fiona and her team next week. Lynn Gilmore will put a vlog together. She's Head of International Trade and the Regions. She will be explaining how our people around the UK are liaising at local level to support the industry on the very specific issues that are being experienced at local level, uh, particularly looking at logistics and the new operating models about how smaller businesses can be adjusting their operating models to deliver to new markets, because that's what it's all about. Markets closing down, other opportunities opening up. There'll be other things from Seafish in, in the weeks to come, so look out for those. Stick with us, keep coming back to our webpage and look out in this space for further vlogs from my colleagues.